the inaugural Smoky Mountain Crawl presented by Man in the Box was a weekend gathering of Honda Ruckus and Grom enthusiasts at the base of the Great Smoky Mountains. People came from across the country to show off their rides, commiserate with fellow small bore devotees, and enjoy some of the best riding in the country. The kickoff Friday night saw a big crowd of customized rides, delicious food from a local food truck, and brews from Blue Tick Brewery. The Man in the Box crew then raffled off a horde of items, made available thanks to the nearly 20 event sponsors. Uh, we got a Composimo billet, ruckus key cover, and bottle opener right here, and these bottle openers, you're not saying Composimo is a really sweet billet bottle. A little rain wasn't enough to dampen the fun, and new friends shared tales from the road well into the night. For a first year effort, it was remarkable just how many people made the trip. Riders from Florida to California and all points between were represented, showing just how much of a following these bikes have built over the years. On Saturday, the entire Motley crew gathered in the parking lot at the Tremont Lodge in Townsend, Tennessee, for a ride up Highway 321 to Foothills Parkway, en route to Highway 129 and the Tail of the Dragon. The group of riders gradually made it up the hill before stopping at Deal's Gap for some lunch. The threat of rain likely kept the weekend crowds on the Dragon down. And we enjoyed a nearly clear road all the way back to town. Of course there were a few hiccups along the way, primarily riders running out of gas. But Man in the Box had set up a chase truck that ran back and forth throughout the area to make sure everyone got home safe. After a few hours rest, we set out on the next ride. Little River Gorge Road to Gatlinburg. The largely flat stretch of asphalt wound through a gorgeous landscape, thick with vibrant green everywhere. Our group was nearly a hundred strong as we came down into Gatlinburg and we garnered plenty of smiles and flashes of the camera as we rolled through the congested tourist town. Many attendees took Sunday to travel back home, but a few dedicated holdouts remained for even more riding and fun. The event was a huge success, and one that we're excited to catch again next year, and it will no doubt be even bigger and better. <laughs>